All right, what's up you guys today? What the crap was that intro? I would never say that in my real life. I'm so sorry. Hi guys, welcome to today's video. I'm gonna be doing a haul for you all. You guys love the Abercrombie hauls and then I figured I would just throw in some resol revolve, some resolve. I need to restart. I would throw in some Revolve stuff too because I've been ordering a ton off Revolve so I was going to show you all that kind of stuff. I actually think I have some Nordstrom too. So today's basically just going to be a, a huge haul. As always, everything will be linked down below as well as I'll have my measurements down there. I am 5'10". I, I thought I was 5'9 forever. Turns out I'm 5'10". I am 5'10". I weigh about like 130 right now. Um, my waist is about 25 inches. That's that. So without further ado, let's get into the clothes. Okay, first up, we have this outfit. These are both pieces from Abercrombie. I'm gonna do the Abercrombie first and then the Revolve. Um, but I wanted a really nice black satin shirt and I didn't have one of those, so I picked this one up and I got it in a medium because I wanted it to be a bit oversized, like not fitted to my body. And I love the way that it fits. I love, I don't know, like it just fits really well. Like it has really nice structure up here, but at the same time, it's just a really basic shirt. I don't know, I love it. I'm glad I bought it. Um, I have one like this from Princess Polly, but it's very thick. And then, so like I said, I got a medium in this. And then I got my regular in their jeans. I get a size four. Um, if you like your jeans to fit you, like touch you, I would recommend getting, maybe sizing down in some of their jeans. I don't know. These are the 90 straight curve love. So they have a smaller waist and then they're um, not bigger, but like more true to size in the uh, hips. Golly, it's pouring. Oh my gosh. Can you see this? That insane rain. Child, anyways. Um, like I was saying, these jeans are four. They're the Curve Love, so they're a, little, they're a little bit bigger than the thighs and boote, and then smaller in the waist. So, I love these. These are four regular. Um, I can wear a two in them. I just don't like my jeans to touch me. So, that's why I get the four. And I wore these yesterday, and I'm probably going to wear these again today um, because we're going to go to dinner. So, that's that. Love this outfit. Okay, next up, I love this little top. I think this is so cute. It's like this burnt orange brown color. And then it has the clasps. Cl Why can I not say that? It has clasps. <laughs> Whatever. You can uh, you can make it not be so not be so booby or be more boobish. And then same thing down here. You can have like a little split, which I think is so cute. And I got this one in an extra small, which is usually the size that I wear in most Abercrombie tops. I'm gonna have to move mirrors because it's getting it's getting quite dark over here. But anyways, I love this. I love the fit of it. I love how the little neckline comes out a little bit and then in. I think that's really cute. Um, someone's blowing up my phone. Anyway, same thing with the jeans. Also, I wasn't gonna do shoes, but I figured I'd just show you all. These are from Nordstrom, so I can link them. They have a little tiny bit of a platform, and they're not my usual style. But I just find like with stuff like this, it's casual and goes with absolutely everything. So that's why I picked this up, and I just love like a little. Little throw on, go on the town outfit, cute little bag, cute shoes, yeah. But I don't know if they have more colors in this top, but if they do, I will be picking it up because I think it's very flattering. Like it's a very flattering, pretty top. Okay, this one is a cute little pink corset kind of top. Um, I don't know what size I got in this. Honestly, I will look and I will let you know, but whatever size it is, I could have gone smaller. Um, if they have smaller, it might be an extra small. To be honest, I have no idea. Let me look. It is a, it's a small. I definitely needed an extra small in this. It's a little bit big, like just everywhere. Um, but the actual top itself is really cute. I like this pink color. It's very pretty. I think I could make this work if I put, um, pads in the boob part because I don't know. There's just a lot of extra fabric. It's not even like you need bigger boobs. It's just like there's a little puffy, I don't know. And it's like high up. Like whose boobs are up there? I don't know. Anyways, it's really cute though. Um, I like it. It pairs nicely with these jeans as does everything so far. Um, but then this is the back of it. It's got a little, I don't know. It's just cute. And it's elasticated. And then you can make the straps tighter or looser if need be. Which may help the whole situation of it being too big. Um, but I'm going to be fully honest. I was not expecting to like this. And I really do. I think it's really cute. So I think I'm going to be keeping it. And I'm going to be wearing it. Bloody hell. Okay, here is this. This is a little bodysuit. It is so cute. Like, the way that it's made, the stitching is just so flattering. I do think that you will have to wear, like, little uh, nipple covers or, like, little pads in, um, in it? Underneath it? Yeah, underneath it. Um, just, you know, for extra precaution. But I love the way it fits. I got this in an extra small, and it fits perfectly. It's not, um, loose. It's not 
tied. It's just like it fits really nicely. And then I love the fact that this, because it comes under and how it just like gives you a little support. You know what I mean? We love a little extra support. We love that. And I paired it with these jeans again. I paired it with these Tory Burch um, slides and then this little YSL bag. And I think this is so cute. Like it's a very cute daytime lunch, brunch, date uh, outfit. I love this. Very, very cute. Very classy. And um, the back of this is a little low, which is cute. I like that. So anyways, there's this. A little up close. I really like this a whole lot. Honestly, like every time I do an Abercrombie haul, I'm like, dang, I was planning on sending a good portion of this back. And then I don't because it's all so cute. All right, perfect. Okay, this one, I'm not going to try on uh, this because I already got deodorant on it and I'm wearing it tonight. So I need to clean it and, well, like wash it and get it cute. Uh, but anyways, I have deodorant on, obviously, so I don't want to put it on again and get it even dirtier. Because I'm hoping I can just get a washcloth and get that out. But anyway, I got an extra small on this. I got this in white and I got this in um, black. The white, they only had a small one and the extra small, or the, and the, the black one only came in extra small. But I have worn this and I think that the extra small will definitely fit me better. Um, but I love it. It is incredibly flattering on. It has a square neck, so it's really, really pretty um, just as far as flattering necklines go and you can wear it with literally anything i actually think that i was gonna wear this um well yeah tonight it's cute okay so the next thing i got are these these are the boyfriend boyfriend mid-rise shorts and i got these in a 27 which is a four and i don't know why the heck i did that because i know good and well that i can't wear a four in their denim shorts they run literally a size if not two sizes bigger um but nevertheless the jeans shorts themselves are really cute I don't necessarily like the length on me. Like, I like something a little bit longer. Um, just because I don't think it's very flattering. Like, at this. I have a long torso and long legs. And this is just, like, not the vibe. So. Um, but if you are somebody shorter with, you know, not such long legs, I think you'd really like these. Because they are very cute. So, I'll have those linked down below. Uh, they're just far too big and not my personal style. Okay, I picked these up not even thinking that they would be that cute. I was just like, maybe they will. I don't really know. But these are cargo um, sweatpants or like jogger style sweatpants, whatever you want to call them. But I feel like these would be so easy to dress up. I would not wear this bodysuit with them, but I would wear them like maybe a different bodysuit with them. And they're very flattering. Like they're just very flattering on. They're actually long enough on my legs. And I have, like I said, very long legs. I think they're really cute with these little sandals. These are the from Ray. They're the uh, Revolve sandals. But anyways, did I say that those were from Nordstrom earlier? Sorry, I lied. Um, anyways, and they are like a white-ish, like off-white, white material. I don't know. But here's like them close up. I think they're really cute. I think that this could be, that they could be made to be really cute, like dressed up. Wear a different kind of bodysuit with it. I just had this one on. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I just had this one on, so I just kept it on. But I actually really like them. I think they're cute. And then this bag goes with absolutely everything. Do I think it was outrageous? Yes, I do. Do I care? Absolutely, I do care. But clearly not enough because I still bought it. Anyways, child. Um, yeah, these are cute. Okay, all this next stuff is from Revolve. So I'll have it linked down below as well. I want to show you these jeans first because these are the most popular A. Goldie jeans. And as you can see, they just are not the vibe. Like, they just ain't it. You know? These are the Lana jeans from A. Goldie. I've seen so many people have success with these. I do not. These are a 27, which is a 4. Um, they are far too big. And they're just not the vibe. Like, they just aren't flattering in any capacity. Um, no. They are long enough. So, props to them on that. I love the wash of the jeans. Um, but, like, they're tighter in my thighs. And, like, way huge in my waist. Like, just massive in my waist. Anyways, moving on to the top. This top is so cute. I love it. I don't know that I'll keep it because um, I don't know that it's that flattering on, on my chest, to be honest with you. Like, it just kind of hangs there, and I don't know that I'd ever pick to wear it. I couldn't tie the bag because I'm one human, but there's another set of ties that goes... Hold on. Ooh. That goes across. So, it's like double tied. Does that make sense? Hopefully you guys can understand the vision. And I do love the back. And I think it's very cute, very flattering, very pretty. But it's just the front. Um, and also it scoops down pretty dang low. And there's just like not a lot of fabric. So I don't know that I'm going to keep this. Because I don't know that I would wear this um, in public. And not feel like I was being stared at. And people would be like, mm, is that just a loincloth you're wearing 
on your on your top and I would say yes okay this top is um really cute my hair is falling down which is so annoying I literally just had like a full-on battle to get this on my body um but anyways this top's really cute but it's the Camila Coelho collection and I think that everything from her collection runs big this is a small and it's like absolutely I got a good two and a half three inches maybe more um of growing room okay and I'm not trying to have growing room right now my pants aren't even fully buttoned whatever I think the top's really cute I love the top I think it's very flattering I love that it has like the little details it's got like a little bustier bustier whatever um details on here um you can adjust the strap so I really like that a whole lot again kind of same thing with the jeans throw on a cute pair of sandals and you're out the door love that love the tone of the pink it's a beautiful like magenta so i think that it would be very flattering on a lot of skin tones it's just the fact that it's big on me and her stuff is outrageous so anytime that something comes in um from her collection that i want to try or like want to wear whatever um i keep that in mind because i'm like one it runs huge two it's outrageous so keep that in mind i do love it i think that this would be really cute with a pair of trousers a pair of jeans um, maybe tuck this in it'd be cute with a skirt there's a lot of ways to wear this top. It is really cute. It's just too big and really expensive. So I think I'm going to send it back. But I do love it. Okay, I love this next little top. I think it's so pretty and so flattering. Um, I actually bought it in a different color as well. So I'll show you guys that. I'll just show it to you like on laying up. It's right there, the little blue top. Um, but I love this. I think that this color is really flattering. I think it's a very different kind of pink. It is, I don't know, it's like a hot pink, but also a bubblegum pink. I love the cow neck. I think that's really flattering. You definitely wouldn't have to wear a bra with uh you definitely wouldn't have to wear a bra with this i don't think uh if you have like boobs on the smaller side you would need to wear like nipple covers or something like that but um i think it's really pretty the back has a little o shape just pretty i just think it's a very elegant like beautiful top again shorts trousers jeans anything like that throw it on and go this would be cute to dress up with a little pair of nude heels or white heels or something like that um i love it i think that i got this in a small an extra small this is from super down but I will let you know in the description. And yeah, I really like this a whole lot though. I think it's just very feminine. Okay, here's the blue top I was talking about. It's actually not from the same brand. This is from More To Come and the other one was super down. The pink one was super down. Um, this is a beautiful top, but the straps on it are extremely long because my button fell down. It's so rude. But anyway, the straps are really long um, and they are adjustable, but I just don't wanna take the time to adjust them because I don't think I'm gonna keep this. It's really pretty, but it's not like my personal style. I know that I would probably rather reach for something more neutral or I don't know, just not something with a print on it if I'm going somewhere and, and doing something. So that's that. I do think it's a really beautiful top though. And if this is your style, it's stunning. You can also, actually, no, I was going to say, I think you can make the back, back stripes cross, but I don't think you can. Um, anyway, it's just really pretty though. I love it. And then if you had the straps pulled up where they were supposed to be, then the cow neck would look how it was supposed to. But pretty top. This top at the beach would actually be the cutest thing in the entire world. I love this. I love orange right now. I just think that it's so cute. I wasn't planning on keeping this, and then I put it on, and I was like, wait a minute. It's adorable. Anyways, um, it also has adjustable straps, which I love. I've been loving this little fit, like the fit of um, just these kind of tops. It does have quite the open back, and then it ties in the back, too, which is super cute. We love that, but I just think it's really cute. Like, again sandals and go adorable top why would you not want to wear it you know what i mean we love that so that's that this is this cute little top i do not know where it's from i don't know i know it's from revolve but i don't know what brand it is um but i love it i think it's cute and then if you wanted you could definitely like take your boobs in there uh something like that but i just think that it is a cute little top love that cutie all right, this one might be one of my favorite tops of all time. I hope the camera picks up the correct color. It's like a yellow gold uh, with a baby hue of green. It. I think it's pulling a little bit more green on camera, but really in real life, it's not like that. But I think that this is the cutest little top. I just love it. I think that it's very feminine and elegant and pretty. You can tie these to be closer or you could pin it if you wanted. Um, but I think it's just, it's, it's so cute. It really is. I would probably wear it with slimmer jeans. I would probably wear all this stuff with slimmer jeans, to be honest with you. I feel like these um, do make my legs look a little bit bigger. And then why this is already coming out and being um, flowy, it kind of makes me look a little bit wider. Uh, but nevertheless, I just kept these on to show you guys the tops. Um, here's the back of this. Again, sort of a low back. Why does my hair look like that? Why is it all, like, rolled up? Anyways, this is from LPA. 
and it's just a really pretty flattering shirt so I think I will be keeping this one as well and then hopefully you guys can see the like material and the color because it is really pretty this is such a stunning stunning beautiful top I love this I love the fact I put it on with shorts earlier um, I'll show you the shorts they're actually from Nordstrom they're the A. Goldie shorts they're the pa Parker short in um, Swamp Me is the the color of them but anyways I just had it on with a pair of short um, A. Goldie shorts and it was so beautiful and I was like this is just such a casual but like elevated elegant look this would be stunning again with a pair of trousers with a pair of nicer jeans with a pair of um with a skirt with a pair of denim shorts like a head on like it's just so beautiful i think the color is extremely flattering so hopefully you guys will be able to pick that see that and the camera will pick it up um i think that it looks really pretty i think it'd be pretty on blondes um if you have blonde hair i think it'd be really just stunning anyways love this shirt love it bought it in two colors i bought it in this beautiful blue shade and then i bought it in black as well um so clearly i like the shirt and then look at the back a stunning open back. I didn't do all the clasps around my neck because, well, why would I? But I love, 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 love this top. Okay, I actually bought this top because of a girl named Vanessa on Instagram, and I loved the square neck. But what's cuter than the square neck and the puffy sleeves? Oh my gosh, my hair is literally tied up in it. Is the back? How stunning is that? It's just so pretty and flattering. I don't know if it looks right. I would have to get somebody to help me. But I don't have anybody to help me right now. But this is so cute. I love this. And I just think it's a really pretty flattering top. I don't know if I'm going to keep it because I already bought a shirt that looks nearly identical from that to this. The one from Abercrombie that I showed you guys. But I love the back. And so if you're somebody who's looking for a shirt like this or needs a cute backless top to wear somewhere, this is it. This Take this as your sign. It is absolutely adorable. It's stunning. I love it so much. Um, and it's very... I feel like you would be fine with any size you know what I mean does that make sense um I am not wearing a bra with it and it's the kind of material you would never be able to know if I was wearing a bra or not and it also has like this little uh seam running across here so it gives you some support as well and then I love the fact that you can can you see yeah you can see from the side like that it's just cute you know I love it so there's that okay here are the oh uh, my gosh I put the wrong freaking shorts on never mind never mind I knew those weren't the right shorts. I knew that they weren't. They didn't feel right. They weren't even the right wash. Those were the Abercrombie ones. Anyway, here are the Parker Long Shorts from A. Goldie. And I actually love, 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 love these shorts. They are extremely flattering. They are a beautiful length on my legs. You guys know that I talked about wanting a little bit of a longer length because my legs are longer. It's just more flattering. My only complaint is that they are big. Like, they're just big everywhere. Like, I don't know. Um, so I am going to try to find, these are from Nordstrom, so I'm going to try to find these in a smaller size whenever I go to Nordstrom, hopefully this weekend, and um, get them in a smaller size. So these are the 26, and I think I'm probably going to get a 25. Um, I don't think I'd get a 24. I think i just keep the 25. But anyways, this is what they look like. They're a beautiful wash. They're extremely soft. I love everything about them. They're the perfect pair of denim shorts. These are just too big on me. So that's that. Moving on. Okay, I'm back in my regular clothes that I had on uh, at the beginning of the video. And I want to show you some of the things that I got from Nordstrom. The last thing I have from Revolve is this necklace. This is from Miranda Fry. It was specifically a Revolve collection that Miranda Fry did. Um, it has a huge amount of links you can put it in so you can make it as tight as you want or loose. And then it's got the little Miranda Fry thing back there. It is quite heavy. I think all of her jewelry is gold plated if I'm not mistaken. Here's kind of what it would look like paired if you want it shorter longer um it's really pretty but whenever it came in i realized that i had one very similar to it and it was a little bit pricey because it is miranda fry so i don't know that i'm going to be keeping it and now let's move on to things i picked up from nordstrom oh wait i have one more thing from revolve i swear these are from the brand ray which is a more expensive brand um, of shoes but not too terrible i think these were 160 which is i mean it's up there but nevertheless i wanted a pair of cute slides that I could throw on whenever I had on a pair of shorts and like a, you know a t-shirt like this where it wouldn't be like the casual Birkenstock um plastic slides it'd be more like elevated so I picked these up Ray shoes are so nice they have a little gold hardware on them and then the actual material is really nice as well um and I wore these yesterday and they look 
they were very comfortable. I didn't have any blisters or anything like that. So I love these. They do run true to size. They're a little bit bigger. I got a 10 and I don't think I could have done a nine and a half, but they fit a little bit bigger. And um, also I had to tighten all of the straps up because I have skinty, skinty feet. So that's that. And we really are moving on to Nordstrom stuff. So first thing I picked up was the Tory Burch shoes that I showed you all, but I also got them in another color, which you all are actually sitting on. So that's that but I'll show you the other color they are a brown leather I picked them both up because I didn't know which color I would want or which color I would wear more but I think I'm going to keep these because these aren't white they're off-white cream color and so I think they'll go with more and also I don't wear brown shoes that much and I have a pair let me just move you over yeah there we go and I have a pair of um brown shoes I have a pair of brown like slides and also, anytime you order from Tory Burch, if you never have, it actually does have really nice packaging. The, each of the shoes come with a little dust bag um, for them, which I like for travels. But here are the brown ones. So if you're interested in them, they also run true to size, and they're very, very, very comfortable. Here's the brown. And then here is the cream side-by-side. Side. I just really like them. I like the way they fit on my foot. I mean, I haven't worn Tory Burch shoes since the Miller sandal came out, really. Um, but I saw those on Nordstrom, and I was just like, wait a dang minute. Those are... Those are cute and I like them. So that's crazy. My cowboy boots are under here and I was going to show you my cowboy boots, but I think I'll just put a picture on the screen over here. I ordered four different pairs and I don't know when they're going to come in. So I may do put them in like a separate video or something like that. But here are the cowboy boots that I um, ordered. The black ones are the ones that came in. I ordered the black ones, the same black ones in black and like a cream off-white shade. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm even going to keep any of them. They're very comfortable. I sized up in them because they are a pointed toe. So I got an 11 instead of a 10. They didn't have half sizes. Otherwise, that probably would have been perfect. Um, but the last thing you want is a tight cowboy boot. You don't want that. Anyway, I just love the style of wearing cowboy boot boots with like a biker short and like a really oversized sweater or a biker shorts and a blazer. You know, like the juxtaposition and like the androgyny of wearing that. Like it's just kind of my vibe right now. And so I was like, I want a pair of, of uh, cowboy boots to do that with. So I picked up a few different ones and we will see, but I will show you guys them whenever they come in. And then the last pair of shoes I got are these which if you've seen my white shoes i pretty much have a pair of white shoes just like this but minus the heel but i love these i wear these type of shoes all the time because it just elevates an outfit to me like you can wear a pair of denim shorts and a t-shirt just like this you can put on a slide and it's like oh that's casual you put on a slide with a little heel you could be going anywhere you could be literally doing anything stunning absolutely stunning so there's that we love a little heel moment these are the vince commuto um brand these I got a 10 and I could have done a nine and a half, but a nine and a half doesn't exist. So I got a 10 and the only complaint is that a lot of the times shoe brands will put the, this part down here, like they'll put it down further rather than like where I feel like it needs to be closer up on the top of your foot in the middle. Um, but anyways, I still really like them and I think that I will wear them a whole lot and they don't have much. I think this is probably what half an inch or not half an inch, an inch and a half, two inches, something like that. Just a little, just a little boost, a little something, something. So that's that. This next item is something that I adore with my whole being, literally my whole being. Um, I am very excited about it. And if you saw my other video, I don't know which one of these will be up first. I really have no idea. But I ordered this purse because of Courtney Shields. Whenever I went to the Dibs Beauty event in Nashville, she had this purse and I was like, dang, that's really pretty. And it's just like, casual you know it's like the perfect casual bag um but anyways so she had this and then um i was like do i need that and she said yes you do i'm looking at it now and i'm seeing like little scratches on it and like honestly if you're paying that much for a bag the last thing you want is flipping scratches what the heck is this about but at the same time it's just gonna happen you know what i mean also it didn't come with a box it just came with a dust bag which i was a little shooketh by not gonna lie to you um but nevertheless this is it it is the YSL hobo bag, and the, uh, the other one I got a mini in. I bought the wrong freaking bag, but here's this one. She's stunning. I feel like she will go with literally everything, everything I ever wanted, and then some. And this extremely soft leather, and I love it. Thumbnail. So that's that. She's a beautiful girl. I'm happy with her. Um, I just got to figure out what in the world I'm going to do as far as like these scratches go. And then why didn't it come with a box? You know what I mean? I don't know. She's going back in her bag. You stay in there. You stay in there. 
Okay guys, that is it for this haul, I'm pretty sure. I don't think there's anything else that I have that I wanted to show you guys. As always, everything will be linked down below as well as other options that I have for you guys and my sizing that I got in it. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If there's other places that you want me to shop from and do a haul, let me know because I'm very down to do so. I feel like I do find the good deals. I find the good deals, but I also find really cool different items and I spend a lot of time curating what I like because Abercrombie and also Revolve. Revolve has a ton of options. So I really try to find things that I like and that I think that if you enjoy my style that you'll like as well. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe before you leave and hope you have a fabulous day.